Hello and welcome to this session of 5 for 5th, where today we're going to be looking at section 9.5 of 5th grade, fifth grade everyday math. It's the rectangle method for finding area. Before we get into the rectangle method, I just want to take a second and go back to when we were in high school, or even you may have taught it this way. Do you remember taking a rectangle or a square and then simply cutting that piece of paper along the diagonal and then pulling them apart and it was sort of a mini proof that a triangle was half the area of a rectangle and or square. Um, that's kind of old school. We're going to take a different approach to that now. But it's, we don't want to give the children the formula. So everything we're going to discuss today is how to go about finding area of triangles without the formula using this rectangle method. Okay, so let's begin. Here we have a right triangle. Now the rectangle method is exactly what the word implies. You're going to be enclosing the triangle of interest into a rectangle using the vertices of the triangle. Now this was the triangle of interest. We know that the students know how to get the area of a rectangle, so I have base times height, which is one, two, three, four. This is a five time five by four, so there are 20 square units in the rectangle. So if I just want half of that rectangle, I'm looking at half of 20, which is 10 square units. That's the rectangle method. Notice we didn't, we never said half base height. We never implied that there is a formula. We just thought it out. Now that's when you have a right triangle. Take a look at this next example. Here we have a triangle. It's not a right triangle. But the question is, can I split this triangle into two, making two right triangles? And check this out. Definitely. I have a right triangle to the left, and I have a right triangle to the right. Now, this is the procedure that we call adding the parts. So just to refresh, we had a large triangle that we were able to split into two separate right triangles. So if I start with this left triangle, you're going to completely ignore the part to the right. And it's hard to teach kids to eliminate the clutter, but that's what we're doing. We want to enclose this right triangle into a rectangle, thus the rectangle method. So this is a one, two, three, four. This is a five by three, four, five. This is a five by seven rectangle. There are 35 square units in the full rectangle. So the question is how many units are in half of that rectangle? 17.5. That's the piece to the left. Now we go to the piece to the right, this one. And we said to ourselves, okay, let's just take a look at this. Let's enclose this into a rectangle. The area of the full rectangle, I have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's actually a square. I have a 7 by 7, which is 49 square units. Half of those 49 square units is 24.5. Now we're going to add the blue piece to the yellow piece, which will give us the entire triangle. So I have a sum of 42 square units. Okay, and again, that's called adding the parts. And why we were, we were able to add? Because we were able to split the triangle into two right triangles. All right, moving along. Now what's going to happen if we're dealt with parallelogram? Well, you know what? We're going to take a look at this for a second. We can add the parts again, or we can do the same exact problem doing what's called subtract the excess. Okay, let's take a look. Add the parts. Well, let's go back. Can I take this parallelogram and can I change it into a figure with right triangles. I can break it down here. I can break it down here. So I have a right triangle here and I have a right triangle up here. So we're going to be adding the parts. So when you look at this, we really have three parts now. So if I start here, I say, all right, I need to find the area of that right triangle. Well, here we go again. Let's break it down. So I have a two by three. There's six square units in this rectangle. Half of six means there's three square units in that first triangle. Now let's go to the middle. 
Well, this one's a breeze because this is a one, two, three, four. This is a four by three. This is a rectangle whose measurements are four units by three units. That's 12 square units here in the center. Now I'm going to go to this last triangle. And here we go again. We're going to break this into a rectangle. Not break it, excuse me. We're going to extend this into a rectangle. We're going to use the rectangle method. I have a two by three, six square units in the entire rectangle. Half of that would be three. That means I have a final answer of 18 square units. Now that was adding the parts. What we're going to do next is subtract the xx. We're going to teach, we're going to expose children to both of these concepts, and then they're going to decide which suits, which suits their learning style best. So I'm just going to get a clear sheet. It's the same exact figure. And now we're going to do this by subtracting the excess. Well, what does that mean? Well, that means we're going to start with one huge rectangle that encloses the entire parallelogram. And we're going to say, now again, this is subtracting the excess. Okay, we're going to start with the whole. The whole is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 by 3. So there's 24 square units in the whole. And now what we're going to do is we're going to subtract the two pieces, which are actually right triangles on the outsides. And again, right triangle, very important. So the first one, I'm going to again use the rectangle method. I'm going to ignore this entire part of the figure. I'm just zoning in on this 3 by 2 rectangle. So that's 6 square units. So I'm taking away those 3 square units. Now we go to the next one. Now here we go again. I'm going to make one full triangle. I'm going to ignore this entire part of the figure. I have a 3 by 2 rectangle, 6 square units, so I'm taking away the part we don't want, which is 3 square units. You pull that all together, 24 minus 3 minus 3 is 18 square units. Now again, just pulling the two together for a second. Are they both in there pretty good? Not really. Um, so you have adding of the parts, subtracting the excess. Same exact answer, two completely different ways to think, um, and it'll be interesting to see which the children choose as their preference. Now that leads us to a figure. We have a triangle, scaling triangle. I have an obtuse angle here. I can only use add the parts if I'm able to take this triangle and break it into two right triangles. I shouldn't say break, split, divide. I'm going to take, again, taking this triangle and, and splitting it into two. The children don't have a, a strong enough background in fifth grade to be able to successfully find the perfect perpendicular line. So we're stuck here. We have to use the subtract the excess method. And I'll say that one more time. Why do we have to use subtract the excess method? Because I can't divide this into two right triangles. Okay, now. Subtract the excess. We're going to start with the whole. I have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I have a 10 by 6. So this entire rectangle is a 10 by 6, which is 60 square units. Now, think about what we have to subtract. We have to subtract this large piece right here. And we have to subtract this right triangle down here. And then reinforce with the kids. We know that they're right triangles because we're talking about the edges of a rectangle. So they, again, nice review there. Okay, now let's take a look at this orange section. We got really lucky here because this orange section is exactly, because of this diagonal, is the diagonal of the rectangle. This is half the rectangle. So if the full rectangle had 60 square units, this orange part just has 30. Then we're going to subtract this green portion. Again, clear the clutter. Get your head set around what we're looking at. We're going down over, up, and across. This is the rectangle of interest. This is a 1, 2, 3, 4 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4 by 6. This is 24 square units. And I want to say take away half of those 24, which is taking away 12 square units. Just a heads up, this looks very cluttered, but we have to remind the children as many visuals as you can. Use pieces of paper. We're really just looking at half of the rectangle, as cluttered as that looks. 
So then we have the 60, take away 30, take away another 12, which leaves us with 18 square units for this particular figure. All right, uh, just a, a heads up again, there are a lot of decimals in this section you're going to notice in the journal pages. When they have to cut rectangles in half, there's going to be a lot of halves, um, so just be on the lookout for that. Um, and that's it. Any questions, please give us a call. And um, thanks so much. See you at the next 5 for 5th.